Dragos from updas.com and yesterday I made a video about Rakedanet and the, the difference the performance difference uh, with cyber panel today I would like to make a video of how you can move your website to Rakedanet this is not specific to cyber panel you can do this for any any hosting the move it will be easy and it can be done without any downtime on your website so in this video I'll sh I have this test site that we're gonna move to Rakedanet right now this site is hosted on on cyber panel and I will show you all the process that you need to do to have this website completely transferred to, to Rakedanet without any downtime so First thing that we need to do is to go into the plugins and new and add the UPV with backup plugin that will allow us to to create a copy of this website and import it in, in, in other website. Let's search for it. Let's type here UPV with. This is a plugin. We just install it, activate it. This website it's a small one doesn't have doesn't have a lot of article it's just a test one it has only one article this is it okay so first thing that we need to do is to create a backup we can create a local backup say the backup local database and files and we hit backup now so right now the backup it will it will be created locally okay as this is a small site it's already created you see here like in the backup you have the backup created now we just need to download it to have it locally so we can apply it on the new site okay i will save it here into downloads okay next thing after we have our website backup we need to go into upracket.net let's go to dashboard right now I have only one okay let me log in again okay I have only one website and I want to add another one I just hit the create site here I put a name let's choose US LA area we hit continue here we choose the install path I will let the, the default one here I will put the admin user I'll put the password the email address English this is not a multi-site it doesn't have WooCommerce I just go and hit continue and this will start creating our website in in racket.net this will be <clears throat> a domain on on, on racket.net that can be accessed and have our website migrated so okay right now the the website it's created you see here like this is the the server name the domain right now okay so what we need to do is go to up admin area and it will bring us to our our website okay this is the the, the website it has their default plugins so right now what we need to do next is to import our existing backup to do this we need to install again the plugin upv with backup okay sorry add new okay we started the plugin also here in the target site that we're gonna use for for our <clears throat> demo 
in here we have the upload option we don't have any backups right now because this is a new website what we do is just to go to upload and select our files that we just downloaded so into downloads i've created this backup i will open it and I will hit upload. Right now the upload it's it's running and it will put our backup in, in here and afterward we can go and and restore this backup. If you check this website right now Let's see. It's it's a default one with the default WordPress theme, so it's not our our website. Okay, let's see where it is. Okay, this is the download one. Okay, where it is, where you are. Okay, this one, download is complete. Okay, right now if you check the backups, you have one backup here. This is the, the one rocket that site that we just created and next we just need to, to, to hit restore. And restore again. Okay, right now this plugin it will it will apply our files with pictures and everything, the database and so on. Okay, the restore was successful. This plugin is free, it can be used without any issues. So right now, if we log in, so if you have a different username in the original website with a different password, you should use that because right now the website is restored and it will, it will use the original user with his password so right right now we have uh, our uh, website here so if, if you check right now and see what we have here you see that we have what we we had in, in previous website the team with the post and everything also you have here the plugins that existed in in the previous website like uh, light speed cache essential blocks and so on so right now we have a copy of our initial website in the in the on rocket that site into this subdomain next what we need to, we need to do is to to modify the dns and point the point the website to the to the rocket.net uh, rocket.net website so it will so it will be it will be live okay to do this we again go into the rocket.net dashboard this is our website that we just created ready to go live we go here and go get started so in here we have the options to to put the domain name that we're gonna use here we have the www and without the w option i will stick without the w it was like this in previous website so we add our website okay then we hit continue then the dashboard will Move to the next step to configure the SSL certificate. Let's okay. The domain has been changed. Right now we need to to go into the our DNS provider and create uh, this uh, this record there. Okay, a txt one. We I have the this one the cloudflare this is the the dns provider and i have only these two records that are pointing to my to my cyber panel vps 
Okay. Next, let's go and create uh, create this record. Pick, copy the name. Let's go and put here add a new record txt. We paste here the name, and then we paste the content. Okay, this will allow us to for the certificate to be to be generated. Okay, we hit save. Okay, the txt is added right now. Next, we need to go here and I've added a txt record. Hit continue. Okay. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes for this record to be reflected. Okay, it's still pending for the verification. We need to wait. I'll wait for a couple of minutes. I will skip this step for now. Okay, because it can take a couple of minutes for this to to be validated until the DNS is refreshed. Next, we need to, to create a CNAME record to the to the website that it's hosted on on the on the rocket.net. So what I have here I will I will delete the A and C name records from, from here. Okay, right now I will add I will add this C name. I'll just copy this like this. I see that it's not working, okay. Let's add the C name. Let's go and add the C name. Okay. Name it will be Aaron. This is the main website it, and it will target the, the website on rocket.net. I will not proxy it because they have their own CDN. I'll hit save and right now you have the main website pointing to to this and uh, basically right now the website should be the website should point to the new to the new location. In some cases this can take 20 30 minutes in other cases, can take up to 24 hours for this DNS record records to be changed. It depends on your internet provider and how he's caching this this uh, uh, this DNS records. So the recommendation is to not uh, to be sure when you publish an article or do any modification on your website that your website is completely moved there because otherwise it can 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 bring you to the previous site that's why it's it's better to to wait and uh, be sure that your website has completely been moved the dns records so right now if you hit again this it will should display the same records that that it will be in the in the new new website And that's it. I mean, you don't need to do to do anything else. Right now, your your website uh, should be should be migrated to the new to the new hosting provider, Rocket.net. This method can be can be used with any hosting company especially if they're uh, they're doing similar thing like they're creating a record like with a subdomain for your website it's not complicated at all so in this way you 
you can migrate your website to racket.net it's easy it's clean and it doesn't uh, have any downtime for me uh, for me i had for me it was okay i didn't had any issues the website was migrated in couple of uh, in couple of minutes the dns was updated in couple of minutes usually the automatic uh, tls for for cloudflare it's 5 minutes so in in 5 minutes everything should should point to the the new to the new hosting provider the rocket the net in, in this case thanks for for watching this video and uh, see you in, in the next videos if you like this please don't forget to subscribe and and like the video if you have a special query or you want a special tutorial please drop a comment below and i will do my best to provide it to you thanks thanks for watching